Hey there! Hello! And once again, welcome to Biopandit, your one stop comprehensive bioinformatics training platform. I am delighted to introduce myself as Saurav, your very own Mahapandit, and today I am going to talk about topology of circular DNA. Topological aspects of DNA structure arise primarily from the fact that the two DNA strands are repeatedly interwined. Let us think about how to untangle these two strands. Consider a simple case of a linear DNA in solution. You can untangle the two strands just by pulling them in two different directions. No covalent bonds are breaking. But if you consider a circular DNA, the scenario is entirely different. Without breaking the phosphodiester bonds, you simply cannot completely separate the two strands. Remember guys that for all natural DNAs, this scenario is true. The rotation of their free ends is either restricted or completely forbidden. This means untangling the two strands of all biological DNA are topologically impossible. Let me show you a hypothetical circular DNA molecule. See, you cannot separate the two strands without breaking any one of them. A DNA segment constrained in such a way that its ends cannot rotate freely is called a topological domain. A few examples of topological domains are shown here. Circular DNA is one example which is typical of bacteria, mitochondria, chloroplasts and many viruses. In this case, there are no DNA ends at all since both DNA strands are covalently closed. The chromosomal DNA of eukaryotes is linear overall but they consist of large DNA loops firmly attached to the nuclear matrix. These loops represent topological domains, that is, they are equivalent to circular DNA topologically. Similarly, DNA attached to the membrane and those attached to proteins behave as similar topological domains. The fundamental topological parameter of a closed circular DNA is called the linking number. Assume that one DNA strand is the edge of an imaginary surface and count the number of times the other strand crosses this surface. The algebraic sum of all intersections is the linking number. Two important features of linking number are evident from this figure. First, linking number is always an integer. Second, linking number cannot be changed by any deformation of the DNA strands, which means it is topologically invariant. The only way to change linking number is to introduce a break in one or both DNA strands Rotate the two strands relative to each other and then seal the break again. Keep in mind guys that this is exactly what DNA topoisomerase enzymes do. Twist is another topological parameter of circular DNA just like linking number. Remember the base pair parameter propeller twist? This parameter represents a rotation of one base with respect to the other along the y axis. Higher propeller twist reflects a higher helical twist of a DNA molecule. Twist is the total number of helical turns in circular DNA under given conditions. Since DNA is a right-handed helix with 10.5 base pairs per turn, twist is a large positive number for any natural DNA. I have presented an example of three circular DNA molecules here. You should always keep in mind two crucial points about twist. First, twist is not necessarily an integer. Take an example of a circular DNA of 5000 base pairs. Its twist will be 5000 divided by 10.5 that is approximately 476.2. Second, twist is not topologically invariant. Meaning, without breaking the DNA chain, you can alter its twist. Simply pull the DNA chain from somewhere to locally separate the two strands. This will decrease the twist. But the double helix of the distant regions winds up on itself, meaning if you try to reduce the twist, the overall shape of the DNA molecule changes. Consider a planar circular DNA and try to locally separate the two strands. Remember that linking number does not change unless the DNA chain breaks. We are not breaking any DNA chain here. So the total number of times one strand intersects the surface defined by another strand remains the same. So if intersection is forcibly reduced at some region, somewhere else it needs to be compensated. 
as a result the double helix of the distant regions winds upon itself so if you try to reduce the twist the overall shape of the circular dna changes this alteration of the overall dna shape is measured by another topological parameter rhythm rhythm can be of any sign and usually its absolute value is much smaller than that of twist keep in mind that just as twist rhythm is not necessarily an integer and since rhythm and twist compensate each other to keep linking number invariant rhythm is topologically variant just as twist remember guys that linking number is equal to the sum of twist and rhythm for any closed circular dna the sum of two topologically variant parameters is a topologically invariant parameter